lower spinning, more workable, but a smaller profile. I have a great test for you if you're interested in the TSI 3 Hybrid, the Callaway Apex Pro, or the Sim 2 Rescue. Hey golfers, it's Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing. I'm excited to test three different manufacturers, hybrids that are considered more workable, but maybe not quite as forgiving. They do look a little bit more like irons to look down at versus your other hybrids that are going to be a little larger profile. So I'm going to expect a little bit less spin with these models here too. So 2021 has been a great year for these clubs to come out. These new clubs out that are available for Callaway, Titleist, and TaylorMade are going to be a great option for a golfer that is trying to fill a gap in their bag, but maybe trying to reduce the spin a little bit, or maybe give them a club that's going to be a little bit more workable. So I'm excited to test these three models and to explain the differences in these more workable hybrids. I'm going to hit six shots with each model. I'm going to start with the TaylorMade Sim 2 Rescue. Keep in mind the loft on all these three are going to be very, very close. The Sim 2 Rescue has got 19 and a half degrees of loft. Callaway Apex Pro has 20 and the TSI 3 has 20 degrees. Let's hit some shots. That was it well. So it was that. So it was that. It's kind of interesting this one's spinning a little more. Maybe a tad right. I feel like I'm hitting it well, just spinning a lot. So of all the tests that I will do, the look of these hybrids in particular are going to be very, very clean. There's not much going on. They're very just black crown. There's not, not much coloring. It's just one color. And they're nice and compact in shape. So I'm holding the Sim 2 Rescue. What's interesting is the Sim 2 Max, there's a lot of color going on, while with the Sim 2 Rescue, there's really no color going on at all. It's just a nice black finish looking down at. Very, very clean. You notice a little bit of weight pushed back, but nothing anywhere near as the more forgiving hybrids that are designed to launch and ball in the year. If we look at the TSI 3, nice, clean, black, glossy finish to it there as well and also a little smaller profile. Looks a lot more like an iron. And then we also have the Apex Pro. So Callaway also has the Apex. The Apex is a lot larger. The Apex Pro is a lot sleeker. Once again, very, very clean, black looking finish with them all there too. So all look very, very good, very, very appealing for a player that likes the look of irons rather than maybe fairy woods to look down at. Uh, if we take a look at the numbers and kind of see some differences, it's really kind of interesting. So if we look at the club speed when I was doing this test, my club speed basically was the exact same. So it'd be kind of an interesting test to kind of compare the differences. Apex Pro 21 did give me the highest ball speed at 151.8. The Sim 2 Rescue actually gave us the lowest ball speed, but the Sim 2 Rescue actually did go the furthest because it was actually spinning quite significantly less than, all the, than the others. It was the only hybrid that was spinning under 3,000 RPMs on average. If we look at the launch angle, the Sim 2 Rescue was launching a little bit lower. Now the Sim 2 Rescue, it is 19.5 versus 20 and 20 with the other two. So it is half a degree less loft on it, but still it is still launching a little bit lower. The other two have 20 degrees of loft. If we look at the spin rate, we're talking, you know, yes, less loft on the club will generate less spin. But you'll notice it's really around about 700 to 800 RPMs less spin with the Sim 2 Rescue. So the Rescue was a very, very low spinning hybrid. So you can see with the Sim 2 Rescue with it spinning a little bit less, you'll notice the total distance was 273.5. 
that was 10 yards further than the Callaway Apex Pro 21. And then just a little bit further behind yet was the TSI 3 Hybrid. But at what cost? So this is going to be an important thing. So we take a look at the dispersion pattern. Sometimes too little spin can be challenging. Sometimes it makes it a little bit harder to control where the ball goes. So we take a look on the right side here. Notice how from left to right that white circle was quite a bit larger compared to the Apex Pro 21, the yellow circle, and the TSI 3 hybrid, which was also that purple circle right in the middle. So they didn't go, go quite as far, but you will notice that it was consistently a little bit straighter with the ones that didn't go quite as far there as well. Now, hit location is also going to be a major influencer here as well. So when I was hitting these shots, now I'll be doing a lot of testing here today, I was catching in the middle of the club face every single time. So this is a good test for those players that don't catch in the middle of the club face every single time to see what happens when you catch a little low on the face. We'll notice there was a couple here you can see with the Apex Pro 21 hybrid. For example, we look at those yellow dots that are just a little bit shorter up the screen. That's when I caught a little bit lower on the face and that spin rate went up. You notice there's actually four up there that are actually pretty close for regards to distance with the Apex Pro 21 hybrid. And then the TSI 3 hybrid. Notice there's a couple shorter there again when I didn't quite catch it perfectly on the face. But really interesting is the forgiveness that you got out of the Sim 2 Rescue. So forgiveness with regards to distance Maybe not dispersion, but they did go the same yardage every single time. So if we look at the plus or minus, Sim 2 Rescue, plus or minus two yards with regards to total distance. Apex Pro and the TSI 3 were around about seven to eight yard difference. So the TSI and the Apex Pro were flying a little straighter, while the Sim 2 Rescue was just flying consistently a little bit more of the same distance there as well. So kind of an interesting test. I was a little surprised, to be honest, at how much the ball was spinning on a couple of the models. I was expecting, as a lower spinning model, the ball to spin a little bit less there. But keep in mind, hit location, and we did bring up the hit location there on each shot that we hit here. Uh, keep in mind, hit location is going to be a huge influence as well. So whether you fit into a more game improvement iron hybrid or whether you fit into a lower spinning, more workable hybrid, make sure you come into second swing to come in and get fit like a pro. We would love to help you out to find you your next hybrid for your bag.